Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, 8 of Wands, 10 of Wands and the 4 of Swords. Energies for your person, 10 of Swords, 3 of Swords and the 7 of Wands. What can we expect for this connection? 6 of Wands, 7 of Swords and the Tower. 7 of Pentacles from the bottom of the deck. Time factor, guys about a struggling connection that seems to be destined to be released. But your person is going to fight to keep the situation alive, even if it is almost naive to think that it can be possible to do that. We have major energies that can be not only disappointing, but also draining energies. You have gone quiet, Four of Swords, the connection has become a source of struggles, Ten of Wands. You have tried to keep all the pieces together for quite some time. Now you would like to let go and move on. Eight of Wands, it can be a confusionary energy of communication if we think about the vortex, the tornado. At the same time, I want to say that some of you are thinking about the opportunity to turn your life around without this person. It's like they have found a way to hold you guys back because of the seven of ones, which can be a resistance. This person doesn't seem to be a positive figure in your life, guys. Three of swords, ten of swords. When they are going to realize that you are over and you want to move on, they will try to put the blame on you because they are going to say that you have betrayed them by making such a decision. And this can be a mind game. We got the Seven of Swords. For others, there can be betrayals involved in this connection. Because of the Ten of Wands, you gave your person the benefit of the doubt multiple times. Your generosity was not rewarded. This person may not be built to be in a connection with you. The sooner you let go of it, the better for you. But they will try to complicate things for you. In the potential progression, guys, we got the Six of Wands, the Seven of Swords and the Tower, yes, but the progression goes like this. Seven of Swords, Tower, Six of Wands. So a lot of issues in this connection, it doesn't work. The foundations of the tower are not strong enough. Time factor seven of pentacles. You may have to make the conscious decision to blow up the tower after thinking about it for quite some time, for swords. This is the only way for you to find a different success moving forward, the six of wands, if we think about rewards. Not an easy transition though, for those of you that can resonate. Let's go for another round. Let's see what we can get. Strand card. Leo energy. Turning your life around. You have to do it. Hierophant for the Ten of Wands. Queen of Pentacles for the Four of Swords. You have been reasonable. You have tried to understand your person. No results. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Seven of Cups, Three of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. They want to resist the singlehood. Wheel of Fortune, Six of Wands. Ward, Seven of Swords. Six of Pentacles, Tower. And the Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the smaller deck. This can be an apology. You can receive it. It cannot be trusted. This can be about commitment issues for others of you. So you have been nurturing the Ace of Pentacles, following the Queen energy. This person is not built for that. If betrayals play a role in this connection, they have harmed a vow of trust and honesty and loyalty, and now it's impossible to rebuild it. Matter of patience, matter of trust, this trend card for me, guys. You have been patient. The connection can be considered now 
as a source of turmoil, struggles, misunderstandings, and disappointments, you cannot hesitate anymore to take action about the overall situation. Gather the courage to manifest the change that you want. You have it. You have the courage. You have the willpower. You have the awareness. You just have to start. Some of you, if we follow the commitment issues type of situation, have realized that the Hierophant energy cannot be manifested together with this person because they are not built for it. And so your evaluation for swords can allow you to come to the conclusion that the connection has to be released. For others, maybe in a committed relationship, the betrayals or the behaviors that kind of broke the bow of trust between the two of you cannot be overlooked anymore. You forgave your person multiple times, nothing changed in their behaviors. Now you can realize that the structure of the connection cannot be preserved in the long run. You may have to let go of it. Do not sleep for swords on the decision that can allow you to completely change the landscape of the situation because the more you hesitate, the more chances you will give to your person to try to manipulate Seven of Swords, the connection with you. So the Queen of Pentacles is an open human being, generous, considerate, kind, but it's unfair to take advantage of someone that can manifest the energy we got, not only the Seven of Swords, but also the Six of Pentacles, one man up, one man down dynamic. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. The opportunity to go the distance together is not real with this person. They lack the necessary factors in order to join forces with a partner. Three of Swords, the Seven of Cups. Options and potential betrayals, number one. Number two, an overall confusion that can prevent this person from the opportunity to figure things out, especially if there are commitment issues involved. And then an attempt that this person can try to manifest to confuse you guys in order to stay in the connection. They do not want to be left behind. They are going to fight the opportunity for you to say, look, it's over. We are parting ways. You are going to be single moving forward because I am going to leave you. They do not want to hear those words. So they are going to fight in order to keep this connection alive. The odds are against them, guys. In the potential progression, the energies speak for themselves. Time is ticking wheel of fortune. The opportunity for you to let the tower fall when it comes to this connection is going to be the only way to release a one man up, one man down dynamic that has seen you guys on the losing side of the agreement, but you have to make the conscious decision to blow up the tower, just like the lady has done in this version of the tower. The Seven of Swords has been playing out for quite some time now. You had to learn the hard way because of the word, learning curve, energy about life cycles and life chapters, they come with major lessons. You learned your lessons. Now, the cycle is over, but it's necessary one last decision and it is going to be your decision to put a closing point on the connection. It has to be done, guys. Wheel of Fortune, lucky break, divine timing at play. Call it fate, call it destiny, call it how you may prefer to do. Doesn't matter. If you want victory, if you want rewards, fulfillment, this connection doesn't belong to the following chapters of the journey. 
I can understand that it can be a disappointment, but what can be even more real are the struggles that this connection has brought in your life in the recent past. You tried to understand your person. You couldn't. There is the moon in the four swords. This person only brings problems and a lot of confusion. If you have been waiting for commitment, it's not going to come with this person. They want you, but on their terms. If there were betrayals when it comes to an official relationship, this person tested you multiple times. They always thought that you were available to forgive them. And maybe you did, not this time. Not this time. Falling tower. Ending chapter. Relief for you and better opportunities moving forward. We are coming, guys. Time is ticking and you will have the chance to end a challenging cycle of your journey in order to grant in your own favor the opportunity to find better, someone better also than this person. They do not deserve you. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.